Lot number 446 is a yellow jade vase. And the first thing I actually like to mention, it has a fitted stand, yeah? Uh, but you can see it's, it's really simple from the carving, uh, yet it's matching perfectly the piece, yeah? And so I think we have this little feeling that this stand may be actually original to the piece, yeah? It has a very good patina, yeah? It's old by all means. Uh, could be 17th, 18th, maybe early 19th century. And then we have here a, an absolutely beautiful, uh, almost pure yellow jade, which is very, very rare to find. Uh, with this uh, grade A color. Um, the design is like, we called it the Rui apron. Uh, and there is a similar one uh, that was sold at Sotheby's Hong Kong, a uh, celadon glazed porcelain vase uh, that uh, shows a closely related treatment of this unusual subject. So we know it's something that, uh, that was a design that uh, uh, was appreciated by the imperial court. Uh, and so uh, the mark here, the, the Qian Long mark, that incised mark to the base, four character, very, very finely horizontal seal script, yeah, is of the period very clearly. Um, and don't get, get distracted by the base. We see that the base has been smoothened a little bit. Well, here we see the original polish, which is all over the piece. Yeah, It's a very fine, silky uh, hand polish, uh, literally impossible to achieve today. Although the piece in its form appears to be truly unique, it compares favorably to a number of Qianlong period yellow jade vessels, including one with a four-character rain mark at Christie's Hong Kong, which sold for more than two and a half million Hong Kong dollars, and one um, of an autumn mellow yellow jade baluster vase, which is not marked but is dated to the Qianlong period at Christie's in London, which sold for more than 50,000 British pounds.